This is Dr. Graham White, and this is the technique of anatomic vector repair to treat massive and retracted tears of the rotator cuff. This is a massive tear of the supraspinatus and infraspinatus with retraction medial to the glenoid with extensive loss of footprint attachment at the greater tuberosity. Coronal MRI image depicting the extent of tear. The pivot point is highlighted, which will be the point about which the anatomic relationship of the rotator cuff tendons will be restored. This is not tissue that will be affixed to the bony footprint. Here is the exposed greater tuberosity footprint and the associated anatomy is depicted. In this case, the most medial aspect of the tear extends medial to the glenoid and is considered the pivot point. It is critical to recognize that the first margin convergence suture will be passed posterior medially and then anteriorly, with the posterior to anterior component to the vector being significantly greater than the medial to lateral component. Preparing the greater tuberosity footprint, Posterior tissue is not sufficiently mobile. This is a chronic injury and the intact tissue needs to be mobilized. An elevator and ablator are used to release adhesions and to mobilize the intact tissue posterior medially and posteriorly. Posterior tissue is now adequately mobile to proceed with repair. Anterior release is seldom required as the magnitude of the displacement vector of the anterior tissue is typically low. First margin convergence suture seen here, initial pass is posterior medial. Here an arthrex suture tape is used. The tide knots of the suture have a low profile and the pillow characteristics are favorable. Suture is then passed anteriorly at the point corresponding to the terminal point of the first margin convergence repair vector. I often use an adjustable sliding suture initially in order to better judge if the margin convergence suture is ideally positioned. In the case of suboptimal placement, it is crucial to reposition or else the tendons will be locked in a position that will not allow for a complete anatomic repair of the rotator cuff. Second margin convergence seen here after passage of two suture tapes. Anterior medial row anchor placement of a 2.6 millimeter all suture arthrex fiber tack RC suture anchor uh, triple loaded with suture tape. This schematic depicts the repair vectors of tied suture to the medial row and the repair vectors to the anterior lateral suture anchor. Double or triple loaded anchors are used in the medial row and all sutures are tied. An important mode of rotator cuff repair failure is the suture tendon interface. Here the sutures are seen externally. All 10 suture tape tails are separated in order to provide individual tensioning when implanting the anterior lateral anchor. A 10 or 12 suture tapes can be passed through a single Arthrex 4.75 millimeter swivel lock suture anchor. Implantation of the anterior lateral suture anchor seen here. Complete repair visualized. This is a view from the posterior portal complete coverage of the repaired tissue over the greater tuberosity footprint. View from the lateral portal. This is a massive retracted tear medial to the glenoid. Extensive bone loss at the greater tuberosity after three prior unsuccessful repair attempts at other facilities. Pivot point depicted. Tissue will be repaired around this point. This tissue cannot be reduced to the tuberosity footprint. Retained suture is identified. Exposure of the greater tuberosity footprint indicates complete detachment of the majority of supraspinatus and infraspinatus. Extent of posterior medial retraction and displacement is appreciated here. Direction and magnitude of the first margin convergence suture. Second margin convergence suture passed. Medial row, triple loaded arthrex fiber tack RC anchor anterior medially and double loaded posteriorly. All suture tapes are tied and then brought to an anterior lateral position at the greater tuberosity. Here, 10 suture tapes are passed and secured through a single swivel lock anchor placed anterior laterally. View from the posterior portal. Complete repair, recreating the native anatomy of the supraspinatus and infraspinatus tendons. View from the lateral portal. This is a revision case. Repair reportedly not possible, as described by an outside facility. Coronal view, high riding humeral head. Pivot point is identified. Again, the footprint is not the anatomic position for this tissue. Exposure of the glenohumeral articulation is visualized here from the subacromial space. Anatomic repair vector for the first margin convergence suture is visualized. Two margin convergence sutures have been passed, followed by a third. Suture tapes associated with the medial row fiber tack RC suture anchors are seen here. Complete repair visualized from the posterior portal and from the lateral portal. Coronal MRI depicting the preoperative tear and then the complete repair of the rotator cuff five months postoperatively. Sagittal view preoperatively and five months postoperatively depicting complete repair of the supraspinatus and infraspinatus.